printf is a powerful tool in Java that allows for the formatting of strings. In previous videos, we've looked at precision, width, and other flags. In this video, I'd like to look specifically at the pound symbol flag. The pound symbol works with octal, hex, scientific notation, float, and hex float. What it does is not uniform across the spectrum. Each individual data conversion type, it will do something different to. And the pound symbol stands for alternate form. So first we're going to see what does it do with the octal base. The number is converted from 1, 2, 3 into base 8 and it appends a 0 to the front of the output. The next is hex. So the number is converted into base 16 and it appends a 0x in front of the hexadecimal number. So for octal it appends a 0, for hex it appends 0x. And then for the capital X variant of the conversion data type it does the same thing except for it capitalizes the X and any letter A through F in the hex output. Next, we have an example with a width and leading zeros. I do this to show you that there are one, two, three, four, five, six placeholders here. Three of these are leading zeros from the flag zero. And then these other three are the actual conversion of the number. But the other two are the appended x and 0, and they are counted in the width. So you see all of these characters total to 8, and the 0 and x is included in that width. In this slide, what I'm going to show you is the alternate form of the E and F conversion data types. It only works when there are no decimal places. So we see if we do not use the pound symbol flag on this line, what it does is it'll print out 12 and have no decimal points. But if you use the alternate form, it will show the 12, but it will also include the decimal point. Same thing is true with scientific notation. On this one, it does not show the decimal point. But on the alternate form, it does show the decimal point. And then I have it incorporated with leading zeros and a width of 8. And you can see here that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 digits. And this eighth decimal separator is the eighth character inside of the width. Same thing is true for scientific notation. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the decimal separator, the E, and the plus sign are all considered part of the width. And then finally, we have hex alternate form. Now, I say that A and capital A work with alternate form. Yes, it will run, but if you took away this flag, it would print exactly the same thing. It truly doesn't have an alternate form because when the pound sign is not present, it still appends the 0x to the front of the number. The Proun flag is a useful tool in the printf method in Java. What it allows is alternate forms for different types of numeric values. For the octal base, it appends a 0. For the hex base, it appends a 0x. For E and for float, it includes the decimal separator, even if there are no values after the decimal separator. And for A, or hexdecimal, it will compile, but it doesn't do anything to the output because the 0x is already appended. Remember, the added decimal point or the added 0 or the added 0x all count in the width if you're using the width modifier with your printf statement. 